In Elixir, a module is a way to group functions. It's defined using the def module keyword followed by a module's name and a do block. And the module's name should be in camel case and have a clear descriptive name. For example, user authentication for a module, handling user logins and other authentication functions. Let's go ahead and open up terminal and I'm going to CD to the desktop and make a new project. And you just do mix a new, and then I'm going to call this modules and then CD into modules. Perfect. And let's go ahead and pop open visual studio code, open up the project we just created. So a new open folder, desktop modules. Perfect. Yes. Trust the authors. Okay. I'm just going to, going to open up the existing module that exists just to show you like some naming convention conventions here. So if we were to delete modules name, user authentication could look like this. Okay. And that's camel cased. Your function definitions go within this do block. And then namespaces can be created um, using dot notation. So let's say, let's bury, let's create a new folder and we can call this insight elixir. And if we created inside of this a new file, and let's say we called this analytics report.ex. Now you'll notice that when I created analytics report.ex, I used snake case. And so you want to always have it match the module name, but instead of camel case, it'll be snake case. So when I hit enter here and then create a def module, you'll now see that um, one we're using for the namespace, we're using the dot notation. So it's inside insight elixir dot and then analytics report camel case. So that is how you will always name your modules. And it really doesn't matter if they're in directories or not when you're like aliasing things in, but whatever your module name is, you want, you're going to have to match that namespace. And then if we go back to our, our module here, we'll put it back to just module modules. You'll notice there's no dot notation. So if it's inside of a directory, you have to kind of do, you know, the directory and then your module name. It's usually best practice to, to save your module to its own file. You don't want to have multiple modules. Like I don't want another module here, uh, def module. And then I don't know, analytics, something, I don't know. But you wouldn't, you could do this. Like this is fine. You can have different functions, but you usually want for organization. And as your project grows, you want one module per file. So the name matches exactly. Module attributes in Elixir serve various purposes as well. One is annotations. We can often see them annotating the module with metadata, like documentation. And we can do something like this module doc and it's between the triple double quotations. And then in between this, we would just do this. This module handles the generation of reports. And now we have documentation using a module attribute. And then constants can also be used. And a constant can be written like this, at and then constant underscore value, and then any value directly after this is the value. And this is a custom attribute holding a constant that can be used throughout this entire module. So you wouldn't have access to this value from other modules, okay? And now since we have the analytics report module created, we could also add some functions like, I'm just going to make commented code for now, but like generate report. And so all these function definitions get held within a module and we could do things like uh, gener generate page view report. And then we could do generate peak traffic report. And notice all these functions have to do with report generation. 
Elixir modules defined using the keyword serve as organizational units for grouping related functions. Like those in our example here, they support clear descriptive naming conventions and namespaces and should be saved in appropriately named files. So additionally, module attributes in Elixir offer functionality for annotations and defining constants, and this enhances the module's utility and readability. This organized approach to module creation and management is crucial for maintaining clarity and structure in your projects, especially as they expand and grow into something large. I will see you in the next video.